god, that's what I have to put up with in Dubai, honestly. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining the channel. Um, I just noticed, I'm going to show you this car in just a second, but before I do, this is the key for it, right? And then I just noticed the key fob has diamonds on it. That is so extra. That's ridiculous. What's more ridiculous is this car. Come on over, guys. So, this is the Lamborghini Urus Mansori Edition. actually costs around $330,000 and then once you do all of this the kit and caboodle to it it costs over half a million dollars you guys half a million dollars that's what you're looking at right here and you know what's even crazier than that this guess how much this tiny little piece of metal costs the same amount as the car <laughs> are you kidding me half a million dollars for this and half a million bucks for this. So we have got a million dollars just sitting here in this car park right now. Let me show you around, come on over. So this is the Mansuri edition, as I said. So Mansuri kind of pimps out cars. So you can go to Mansuri and be like, yo, I've got a standard Aurus, like pimp it out. So what they do is they completely rework the front here. You can see it's just a whole lot more extreme. It's like super, super manly, right? So you've got these like really exaggerated lines here. Look at this. And then they've replaced all of this front bumper. And then they've also got these side wings here. Like the whole front has basically changed. Let me actually talk about the hood. This is the change that you'll see most when you look at this car. The whole hood has changed into carbon fiber. How sweet is that with these air vents? I don't know about you guys, but I actually love the look of this car. Like love, love, love. But to pay an extra $200,000 just for the Mansory upgrade, that's like buying a Porsche Turbo. You guys, $200,000, you could have a Lamborghini Urus and a Porsche Turbo, or you could have the Lamborghini Urus with the updated Mansory kit. That's insane, right? You've got these beautiful rims here, 24 inch. The standard is 21 inch on the Urus. You've got the side skirts here, like all these carbon fiber elements running along the side. Come around the back, guys. You know what I just realized? I'm actually getting the same size rims for my Rolls Royce Wraith. These things are massive. I'm not sure if I've done the right thing. I was like, yeah, let's go massive. Let's get 24 inch. And now I'm looking at them on this and they're even beastly on an SUV. So I don't know how they're gonna look on my Wraith. Maybe like crazy too big. I'm not sure, but hey, that's what I got. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna be doing up my Wraith next week. So that video is going to come out really, really soon. I'm super excited to show you what I'm doing. Okay, back to the Aorus. This back, I absolutely love. You've got this whole new rear diffuser here with all of these fins. They've all been added. All of this carbon fiber is new. And what is cool is you've got a whole new exhaust system. On the standard Aorus, you've got the exhaust here. So two over here and two here. What they've done is completely replaced the exhaust system popped it in the middle and now you've got this cool like triangular pattern plus that replacing the exhaust and some tuning in the engine means this one has 30 horsepower more so this Aorus Mansuri edition has around 670 horsepower up from 640 ready are you ready all right here we go so this is the interior of the Aorus and they've kind of They've done some like updating here in the interior as well, Mansuri. Um, do you want to actually pop around the passenger side, Sergi, and we can get the aircon going? <laughs> Come on in. Right, I'm going to just pop this key here. This keychain's actually from VIP Motors. Um, the owner, Ahmed, has actually lent out his personal car to me today. So this is his personal car. This is how you turn it on. You can pop that up. Now, let's put the aircon on just a tiny bit so we don't all die. All right. Now, did you guys hear what I heard when I started this up? The bubbles from the back, like the whole exhaust system has been changed and it sounds ridiculous, okay? Your window down. Let's just give it a bit of a roll. Look, I'm gonna put it in um, sports mode, guys. So you just pull this down like that and Oh, wait, of 
Mimosa? so good you guys holy moly even better when you drive when I first when I was driving it out of the showroom I was like oh my god this is mad if you ever find yourself in the driver's seat of an Aorus this is how you put it in reverse because I was like couldn't remember for a little while so I'm playing around with everything this whole thing comes back and I really like that they kind of go for like a like a jet fighter style and then it starts beeping ah. put it in drive you just click this click the little paddle forward and this whole thing is touchscreen which is quite nice and what I also like it's called haptic feedback and basically what that means is it feels like real buttons it like feels like you're clicking it which is really cool and then you've got this 3d camera which we all love and we just saw that on my last car review so you can just move your finger and the car it'll show you what's around the car in 3d in real time how cool is that? It even reads the background, like the skyline and stuff, way further Yeah. Back. That's crazy. Look, look at the detail. Like you can see all of these little individual balconies here. And if I turn the wheel, let's see. Yeah, look at this. I'm turning the wheel and it turns in real time like that. That's so cool. Wow. This is a four litre uh, twin turbo V8 and the standard Urus has around 640 horsepower. This one, as I said, has been uh, tuned. So it's now got 670 horsepower, zero to hundred in around three and a half seconds. It's one of the fastest SUVs in the world. Okay, you've got a million modes in this car. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six going on a million. And this is Anima. So basically you've got to pull this through to change the modes. And up here on the dash also changes every single mode. I'm just gonna flick it into Corsa. That will change again. Ooh, did you hear that? How the exhaust opens up more. You can hear that immediately. It sounds incredible. Then you've got Sabia. That is desert mode. And look, the whole front goes down. I felt that. Oh no, it's coming back up again. Oh, it's playing around. And then Terra is Earth. So if you're going over, you know, rugged terrain. And then you've got Nev, which is snow. There you go. And then back into Strata. And if you own a Lamborghini, it is illegal to keep your Lamborghini in Strata mode. It is just for show. You are not allowed to drive it in Strata mode. Basically, that is the quietest mode ever. You've always got to flip it into Sport or Corsa, okay? That's how it works. All right, let's go for a drive. There's not much to show you in the back. Like you can get, you can get a two seater version here in the back with the like center console. It's a bit more sporty, a bit more fancy, uh, but this one has three. Zero to a hundred in three and a half seconds. Yeah, that's got some pull like you know this is meant to be a supercar SUV and it does it does feel supercarish it has that kind of stiff like grit to it and you hear that gurgling isn't that amazing oh, if I had this car I'd just keep downshifting <laughs> that sounds so awesome you guys Actually, the owner of VIP Motors, Ahmed, this is his personal car. And he's like, yeah, take it out. Here you go, here are my keys. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.